Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio for May. This is for May. Okay, this is for May 2020. So, what do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising, or Scorpio Venus? What do we have for Scorpio for the month of May? Something in May. The thinking woman. The thinking woman. So, you know, she's got a book in her hand. It looks like she's pretty bored. She's pretty bored with this story. So you may be dealing with a woman or it's you, okay, that is bored uh, thinking, should I, should I keep doing this? Is this even what I want? Not sure I like this story anymore. I'm not sure, uh, this is even the book that if I even want to finish this chapter. So I feel like we have a woman here who is thinking about, uh, closing a book. Okay. And writing a new story. She probably has read something that she doesn't like. Okay, something that made her think, it made her feel a certain way, and uh, whatever she read, I don't think she likes it. So you may have read something, especially if you're the feminine, or or the fem the feminine in your story has read something that she doesn't like. Okay, and now she's thinking about uh, closing this book, closing this chapter. Uh, ending this story, right? She's she's just about done with it by the looks of things. Whatever she has seen, she doesn't like, okay? So this could be reading a text to another person or a message or or something like that. Some it's like you somebody you could be uh coming across something that maybe even your partner is doing. And, and you don't like it. Could go vice versa. Whatever. But we got this woman here who is probably just about done with this story. What do we have for Scorpio? World. The world is a completion. Leaving the past behind you. Uh, a long-term project or a phase that you have been in is over. You've learned your lesson. A lesson has been learned. You're completing one lesson and beginning anew. You're completing one chapter. You're beginning a new story. This is stepping into new territory. You may be moving. You may be traveling. You've learned some sort of lesson that has caused your evolution. There could be a change in residence. Okay? Somebody may be moving. Um, page of Swords, Reverse. Now, this is probably a conflict. There could be a fight. There could be an argument. You may be caught off guard. You could be dealing with a liar or a cheat. You could be involved in a hostile in uh, situation with somebody who plays mind games. This person plays uh, mind games with you. Um, King of Pentacles is somebody who... Is very valuable, hardworking, stable, solid, secure, practical, realistic. This guy looks like he's he's got money. So there is somebody here that has some sort of money, has some sort of security, has a golden, a big golden opportunity here. Um, now I was gonna say because I wanted to say Taurus at the beginning, so I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus. I don't know why I wanted to say it for you, but this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. But, you know, you may have been dealing with somebody that was very vicious, okay? This person didn't think before they talk. They don't think before they talk. They say things they shouldn't say. They could use, they could be abusive, mentally abusive. This is a very secure, though, individual here. This person may be offering you some sort of help. There's, there could definitely be a relocation here where you've been. It's been unrealistic. There's no growth. It's a dead end. Um, 
there's no need to, you can't water a dead tree. Whoo. So somebody's mind is made up. They have made up their mind. They have to do the, they have to follow the, do the right thing. They have, this is about following the head, not the heart. It's not about the feelings. It's about the facts. It's about the truth. Somebody is making a practical, uh, logical, a practical, logical decision based on the facts that there's no more growth here. Okay. I feel as though this is a very difficult decision. It is definitely difficult, but it's needed. It's very needed. I think there's been some sort of investigation going on. Somebody has been investigating. And, and maybe it was even a private. Maybe it was you You were investigating. Maybe it was a private investigation. And there's something that is uncovered. There's some words or a message that you don't want to read. You don't want to hear. It's like you, you uncover something. You uncover something that changes everything. Or they do. It could go vice versa. Yes, it's a message. There is a message or a communication that gets revealed. It was it was hidden, it was secretive, but it causes this ending. It causes this evolution. It causes you to uh give up on whatever it is. This is moving someplace else, going someplace else, something happening very fast. This is not a message that you want to read or hear, okay? Just saying. Um, oh my God, you may be dealing with a narcissist. You may be dealing with somebody that is angry, somebody that is very controlling and manipulative. This person has a huge ego, huge, 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 um, very materialistic, very, um, driven by society, uh, deserts you in the time of need. When the going gets rough, this person turns their back. Very much interested in money and sex and uh, gambling and having fun and may even do things illegally to obtain money, but not interested in love because there's no love in this cards. Who in this in these cards? Whoever you're dealing with is not in it for the emotional part of it. Okay, they're in it for security. Okay, some sort of security to fulfill the bo ego boost, an ego boost. This person is cold. They are uncaring. They're not in it for, for the heart. They're in it for every, every other reason but, okay? So there's no heart here. There's no heart here. Whoever you're dealing with is in it for some, to get some sort of ego boost or the security of it, okay? It's not, it's not for love. Okay, and I feel like this person may be communicating with somebody else and they may be sending, you know, all these sweet little messages to this person and they and you catch them. So whoever you're dealing with um, has is deserting you or they've deserted you in the time of need. They're only out for themselves. This is somebody who is corrupt, somebody who does things against the law. Okay, this person will do anything uh, for money, for social, social status, to look good to the outside world. Okay, this person is very cold and uncaring and very, very, very manipulative. So it feels like you're dealing with a narcissistic person. Okay, whoever this person is, I feel like they're mean, they're entitled, um, and they don't listen to any laws. Okay, they, they disobey the law. Okay, because they're so entitled, whoever this person is. Um, they have secrets. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't matter. Whoever you're dealing with is very, very, very secretive. And I think that you know it. I do. I think that you know it. I think that you know that this person is abusive. I think you know that this person is, is communicating with somebody else and they're hiding it. And they're hiding it very well. All is not as it seems. This is not about love. This is about power and control. It's about holding on to security. It's what a narcissist needs, that security. This person is working with somebody else, and I think that you know it. So I think in May, you are uh, going to see some sort of communication about whoever this person is working with. And it's going to cause a major ending. 
Okay, because that is the first card. It's going to cause your evolution. I think that um, your intuition knows. Your intuition is telling you. Um, I think that you are looking for love, right? You're looking for love. You may have a new opportunity here. You may Somebody may come to your aid. They may be coming to you with some facts. Now, this could... It may be, some of you could even hire a private investigator. I don't know. Or it could be a friend or somebody, somebody that is in your circle that gives you some sort of information on this person. This person um, sees your big heart. They know that you're in love. They know that you love this person. And it's like they're coming to protect you. I feel like that's a, a pretty strong message that you need to hear. There's somebody in your circle that is going to uh, help you. They're going to help you to see whoever it is that you're dealing with. Okay? They are. They're going to show you. They're going to show you who this person really is. Or they're going to lead you in that direction. I feel like... Um, you know, it's going to be a very emotional time. And you. this may even be a healer or a psychic or a medium that tells you, okay? Or a counselor. It could be a counselor. Um, somebody is going to give you some sort of information. And it's very real. It's very real. It's very practical. Um, it's the truth, okay? They're going to tell you the truth about whoever it is that you're dealing with. And I think that's what's going to really open your eyes. I think that there's been a level of confusion, perhaps even fantasy. Somebody may have been in fantasy. They may have been unwilling to see, you know, rather live in fantasy land and see the truth. But whoever they're dealing with is, is um, mean, very, very mean, and has deserted them. And they're communicating with somebody else. There is there is communication that is hidden. There's hidden communication with somebody else. And I think it's it, when you hear this or when you find it, you're going to be very, very, very upset. Um, yeah, it's an unrequited love situation. This is not about love. Whoever you're dealing with, it's not about love. I'm, to, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, this is... Uh, you're dealing with somebody that is obsessed with their image. They have childhood issues that go all the way back to their childhood. They are very insincere, and there could be a level of infatuation with this person. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who doesn't really, uh, they're not in love, but they like the security. Okay, they like the security that you give them. You make them feel secure. So I feel like in May, you are going to receive some sort of information that is going to open your eyes to the truth that you did not want to see. I also feel as though for some of you, you are going to be extending your love to... Um, an Aries, oh, not an Aries, a, well, I said Aries, but I was going to say air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you may be, if you are the feminine, you may be extending your, your heart to this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that, you know, has mental issues, okay? Could be even a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or, or an Aries. Whoever this person is, this person, I think, has some sort of mental issues, I'm just being honest with you. They're not emotionally available. I'm sorry. Be careful who you work with. Be careful who you give your energy to. I mean, where's the love? It's not here. But we got somebody here who is very needy. And they're being taken advantage of. I think you're going to be caught off guard. You're going to be caught off guard. By a message. Or messages that you don't want to see. Or you don't want to hear. And these messages are going to cause an ending. They're going to cause your evolution. They're going to cause you to turn your back on this whole situation. 
somebody has been unwilling to accept the truth. They've been unwilling to see. They've been living in fantasy land. But something is going to happen and it's going to happen fast. And it's going to change these circumstances. Something is going to happen. It's going to happen out of the blue. You're going to find out who this other person is working with. There's been some sort of injustice. This is not fair. Somebody has been lying. They've been being dishonest. And they're, you're not, probably not going to be happy with the outcome. This person does not care who they hurt. This is going to be a shock. And it's going to happen suddenly. So all of a sudden, it's like, boom! Boom! A bunch of lies get revealed. You're dealing with somebody that has, with, I don't know, so there's somebody in this reading that has some mental health issues. They are very, very, very insincere. So Scorpio, in May, I feel like you are going to read something that changes everything. Yeah. So that is what I got. Good luck.